how has it been kind of leading up to it? You know, this week kind of now it's gotten day by day, you know, it's coming up closer and closer. Like how much anticipation, how excited are you for this weekend? Yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, this, this whole year has been pretty crazy with actually talking to NHL teams and it's definitely been a dream come true for me. Um, just the thought of getting drafted and no, it's, it's going to be special getting to, to share this, this week and this weekend with my family. Um, and, and possibly getting drafted. <laughs> um, talking about, you know, obviously, you know, hockey is a big deal in northern Minnesota up here, um, everywhere in Minnesota, you know, but it's always a kid's dream to have a chance to be in the chance that you are to get in that draft in the NHL. You know, how long ago um, were you dreaming, hoping to try to get this chance? You know, uh, at what age did you think, hey, maybe I can do that? Um. I mean, I feel it's just every kid's dream as soon as they put on skates and um, watch an NHL hockey game. That's what you want to do. You, you fall in love with the game, and um, if you're lucky enough to, to get to do it for a job, that would, that's, I feel like, every kid's dream. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully going to live that out. Grand Rapids here is a special place, uh, especially this barn. It's pretty, I don't know if they have that many barns like this in Minnesota, but. Grand Rapids hockey is really important here. Clearly out there, you can see these little tykes out there, you know, squirts. Um, what has Grand Rapids meant to you and how has it, you know, kind of Grand Rapids hockey helped you get to this point in your career? Yeah, um, Grand Rapids hockey, my dad uh, coached here for, for 10 years, the high school team. So he was the, the guy who got me into hockey. Um, I, I got to skate with the high school team back in the day and those are your heroes growing up, getting to, to watch the, the high school team and, and hopefully get to play for them someday. And um, no, it's, it's meant the world to me to, to grow up here. And um, I've been very fortunate getting to grow up here with just how the community is and how everyone supports hockey. And um, yeah, it's a hockey minded town. Um, and yeah, I feel like if, if you're a hockey player, this is the place you want to grow up. Yeah. And then after, uh... Grand Rapids, you know, you went on and you were at the Fargo Force, you know, how was it, you know, playing at the Force and maybe, uh, I'm guessing a little bit quicker of a game, speed of the game kind of picked up. What do you learn most when you played over there? Yeah, it's just how many good players there are. Um, all the leagues get condensed down into the NHL and, and the USHL and um, just just how fast it is and, and how big and strong the guys are and, and just a junior hockey league is, is crazy. Um, so yeah, it was really good experience for me getting to, to play there after high school and um, yeah, get to play playoffs there and, and kind of learn what, what uh, playoff hockey is all about because it's definitely a different style of game. Um, but no, it, it uh, developed me a lot um, just in this past year. So this process here that, you know, it's, it's exciting. It's kind of like getting recruited, I'm sure, too, like for colleges where the you know, coaches are talking to you and might be some different tweaks here and there. But um, what's it been like, you know, hearing from different, you know, the NHL scouts or, you know, coaches, executives, different stuff like that? You know, what's it been like and what have they said about you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been crazy. Um, I never thought I'd be talking to NHL scouts or um, – higher up office guys in, in the NHL and um, just for that to happen this year has definitely been crazy for me and um, it's been really eye-opening. Um, no, uh, I think they really respected my, my decision to go back to high school and um, no, I've really uh, enjoyed this year and, and got to learn a lot about, um, it's kind of like a, a job interview, so to say. Um, been a lot of a lot of interviews and um, hopefully it helps me with job interviews in the future that's a good way to put it I mean there'll be a lot of job interviews down the road that's yeah, for sure exactly. <laughs> so what is draft day gonna look like for you like where are you gonna be what are you gonna be doing you know I know it's like Friday's the first round and Saturday is the rest of the round rest of the round so what's it gonna look like for you um, so I'll, I'll be in Plymouth, Michigan on Friday for um, the World Junior Tryout. Um, they'll have something set up there for, for all the guys who are eligible. Um, my family's going out there, both my parents and my sisters, so um, th they'll be there with me and um, 
yeah, just cross our fingers and, and hope I get a phone call. Yeah, for sure. Um, just wrapping up here, Jack. Um, I guess, you know, you, you, you can't, you know, especially where you're just trying to hopefully get drafted and, you know, I think you will, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Is there any place where it's like, oh, I kind of like rather be there. I like this or I had really good talks with this. Is there anyone like that? Or is it like, I'll take where I can get. Um, yeah, at this point it's, it's definitely, um, I'd go anywhere that's, that would draft me. Um, I mean, possibly the Minnesota Wild, that would be a really cool spot to go being a, a hometown team, but no, um, any spot that I get drafted, uh, it would be awesome. Yeah. Last thing, you know, what do you think in your eyes, Jack, you know, you know, and maybe some scouts have said it too, whatever, but you know, what separates you from maybe other guys that are getting drafted or, you know, in the same area or same round and around that area, you know, what separates you and wh why are you going to be the difference maybe at the next level? Um, I feel like my, my, just my hockey IQ helps me a lot playing the game. Um, I feel like uh, I can think the game pretty well and um, I feel like that's one of the biggest things that separates me from others. And you got that granite or that Thunderhawk toughness too, exactly. right? Exactly. Any, anything else? I guess the last thing, because I was just thinking about this while I was out there too, you know, what does it mean to, um, you know, I mean, I just, I just spent this baseball game and I was at, um, BSU was holding like a football camp. So I was talking to Greg Spawn and like mm -hmm. some of the Grand Rapids guys there. And I mean, everyone I've talked to is like, oh, Jack is so nice. He's such a nice guy, such a great, humble guy, whatever. And he's, you know, they've only had good stuff to say. Um, and then seeing you out there with the kids, you know, what does that mean to be able to, you know, you're gonna get drafted, but you're still out there, you know, doing stuff with the young kids and, and giving back to Grand Rapids. Yeah, it's exactly like what I said. Um, the high school guys, when, when you're a, a squirter, a mite, they're, they're your heroes. And um, yeah, just to come back this year and, and help those guys out and kind of grow the program a little bit. And um, yeah, it's, it's meant the world to me just to, just to kind of walk around the rink and, and see how happy people are just to see me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a really special year. And um, that's why I've loved growing up here in Grand Rapids. It's been really special for me.